purpose of this video is to document the side-by-side -side comparison testing done between the Sukup TC163 grain dryer and the Super B SQ20 grain dryer. This test was performed in Sheffield, Iowa on November 16th and 17th, 2011 by qualified Sukup personnel with very careful attention given to the critical factors that most often affect the drying process. A general review of the details of the test show that all the grain used for the test came from the same wet bin and it was all one hybrid of corn. The testing was done on consecutive days and the group was careful to monitor the outside temperature so testing could begin each day during nearly identical outside temperatures. There was only a 2 degree Fahrenheit difference in the outside temperature over the two day test period. On day one of the testing, the Sukup TC163 grain dryer was first attached to this larger LP tank and was then run through a stabilization period that lasted approximately one hour. The grain used during the stabilization period was transferred to a dry holding bin. This same stabilization period was repeated on day two when the Super B SQ20 was tested. Once the stabilization period was complete, we switched from the large LP tank to a smaller LP tank secured to a pallet. These smaller tanks were weighed before each test began and after each test was completed. This gave us a very accurate accounting of exactly how much fuel was used to dry the grain. Each dryer was tested for a period of two consecutive hours after the stabilization period had been completed. During the actual test period, both dryers were run in manual mode. The wet incoming grain and the dry outgoing grain was sampled every five minutes and tested using the same moisture tester and the same operator for the entire test period. In order to keep track of the amount of grain dried during the test period, the finished grain was transferred to a semi and when the truck was full, the grain was hauled to the elevator and weighed on their scale. We ran the test on both dryers using a drying temperature of 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The advertised drying capacity of both dryers is based on a drying temperature of 220 degrees Fahrenheit, but we felt that it was more realistic to run a slightly lower temp to better match what farmers are actually doing in the field. Before we show the results of our testing, here's a quick look at some of the literature for each dryer. As you can see, both dryers hold about the same amount of grain. We also wanted to highlight the estimated drying capacities for each dryer and remind you that these numbers are based on wet bushels per hour when trying to remove five points of moisture while operating at 220 degrees Fahrenheit. This test shows that the capacity or speed of a dryer is determined by the amount of grain the dryer holds and is drying at any given point in time, the amount of air being pushed through the grain, and the temperature of that air. In this test, the drying temperature was the same on both dryers at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. The amount of air was similar with both dryers using 20 horsepower fans, and the discharge rate of grain was similar, 517 bushels per hour on the Sukup and 497 bushels per hour on the Super B. Both dryers dried the same hybrid of corn in the same weather conditions and removed very close to the same amount of moisture from the grain. Even though the Super B SQ20 is four feet longer than the Sukup TC163, they both hold about the same amount of grain, so it makes sense that the capacity of both dryers was about the same as well. The Sukup dryer was a little more fuel efficient in this test, drying 10.9 bushels with every gallon of LP, while the Super B dried 8.99 bushels with each gallon of LP. When comparing dryers from different manufacturers, customers should focus on the facts. How many bushels does it hold? How many horsepower is the fan? How much heat is being added or BTUs of fuel burned? These are numbers that cannot be manipulated. Capacity stated on a brochure, however, is not as clear. There is no standard across the industry on exactly how these capacities are determined. 
Heat, time, and air. The principles of drying grain have not changed. There is not a magical way to dry faster with less grain in the dryer using less fuel.